Hello, welcome back, Pouring Nation. Uh, one of the questions I get most often from uh, people on my website or on the uh, YouTube channel is, how much paint do I need for an acrylic pour? And this can be very frustrating when you go to do a pour and you have way too much paint and you just kind of push or stretch all your nice, beautiful cells right out off the canvas, or you don't have enough and you have to make more paint, get little splotches on the end. It's really annoying. So today, I'm going to tell you, for an acrylic pour, in general, you want to take the surface area of your canvas, in this case it's an 8x10, 80 square inches. Um, this has sides, so I got another 8 square inches here, 10 square inches on these both sides. So 98 square inches, divide it by 25, which means uh, approximately 4 ounces of paint I need for this. Again, the surface area that you want to cover divided by 25 is how much paint you need. 8 by 10, 80 square inches, add the sides, 98 square inches, I need 4 ounces of paint. Same thing with a canvas board, obviously this doesn't have any sides, so I'd only need the 80 square inches, so I'd need 3 and a half, 3 and 3 quarters uh, ounces of paint. 12 by 12, same thing, 144, add another 24 for the sides, uh, we got 168 square inches, divide that by 25, it's approximately six and a half, six and a quarter um, ounces of paint. So one thing I do want to point out is um, the amount of paint you need is going to depend on a couple of different things. This is a very basic calculation to get you started with uh, what you need and this is probably slightly more paint than you want. I'd rather you uh, have a little bit too much paint than a little bit too little paint. As you go along, you'll kind of get a feel for the different uh, acrylic pouring types that you have. Each pouring uh, technique is slightly different in how it does, how much paint it takes. For example, a swipe, you actually put all the paint on generally first and you make it nice. You don't need as much, you're not going to dump as much off. Then you do your swipe with a little bit more paint and then you dump a little bit off so you don't generally need as much. Um, something like a a dirty pour, when you do the dirty pour, it's hard to get all the edges covered, especially if you haven't painted them yourself. So sometimes you use a little bit more for something, say, like a dirty pour. But this should give you enough paint for all of the different pouring types. Um, just another example, this is a big 16 by 20, 320 square inches on the face, another 36 square inches uh, on the uh, sides, and I'm just reading from my little cheat sheet here, so 356 total square inches divided by, by 25, 14.25 uh, ounces of paint that I need to cover this. Um, other surfaces, I got a hard wood surface, 8 by 8, same thing, half an inch on the side, um, 64 square inches, another 16 square inches, so I got 80, 3 and a quarter ounces of paint. If you're painting something that has uh, stuff missing in the middle, again, I'd do four and, a, four and a quarter, sorry, three and a quarter ounces of paint if this was solid. I might cut out half of that because of this, or maybe only a third. It's going to be hard to get it all along the edges. Um, again, so two ounces of paint to do this. Paper, uh, I do this a lot when I'm practicing something, different things. A nine by 12 is 108 square inches. Um, so... There's no sides, obviously, so that's about four and a quarter if I do that, uh, ounces of paint. Uh, circular canvases and hexagon canvases, you can do the same measurement. It's just the square, in uh, the area of a circle. So it's going to be pi r squared. Pi times the radius uh, times the radius, or pi r squared. So for like an 8-inch circle, 50 square inches, you need two ounces of paint. For a 10-inch circle, 79 square inches, you need three and a quarter uh, ounces of paint. For a 12 inch, 113 square inches, you need uh, 5 ounces of paint. Uh, just slightly less than 5 ounces of paint. So the question I have for you guys today is, how do you measure your paint? How do you know how much paint you're going to be using? Uh, comment below. Let's all learn together. Try and figure out uh, the best method. Um, this also is going to depend on how comfortable you are, the different pouring medium you have. You know, if you're doing a very thick pour where you want the colors to stay nice and solid, add 
If you're doing a very thin pour where you want those colors just to mix or to kind of layer, subtract 10% because you don't need as much. That paint's going to move around and cover your canvas quite well. So there's lots of little things like that that could help. So I've put together a cheat sheet. How much paint do you need for an acrylic pour? I'll put the link below uh, on where you can get that. And I will link to my blog post that has a lot more information about um, different things that affect how much paint you need for an acrylic pour. So just to sum it up, area divided by 25. When you get comfortable, you might change that to divided by 30. That way you're not making as much paint. Starting out, I want you to do area divided by 25. You will find you always have enough paint and you never run into that problem where you have too little or you have way too much paint. Um, if this is the type of content you want, uh, that you're looking for that will help you in your paint pouring journey, please uh, subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notified, and uh, we will see you guys next week.